I'm Lauren Ward, and this is your TV news for the week of March 13th, 2016. Are you ready to jump on the reboot train? Amazon has decided to punch a ticket for the reboot train. And while Netflix started with Fuller House, and we have now an upcoming MacGyver reboot, along with some other shows such as Girl Meets World, and it decided to throw its hat in the ring and come out with a reboot for the show Tick. Tick originally aired on Fox and didn't last a few episodes and then was taken off the air. It starred Patrick Warburg, who, if you don't know, is the actor who does the voice of Kronk in Emperor's New Groove. He also plays uh, Elaine's ex-boyfriend in Seinfeld. Amazon has decided to bring new life to this show and it's a superhero show starring a guy who dresses up a tick and runs around with his superhero psychic, the Moth, and a few other characters like Batman Well and Mrs. Liberty, I think is her name. Um, at, at the moment, not much news is uh, said about it. It's just, they just announced that they are doing a reboot for Tick. None of the original cast members have been reported to come back. Uh, Patrick Warburg has been mentioned in the article I read. He's actually coming back as an executive producer. He isn't going to be acting in it at this time. No word if he is going to come back. And one of the actors who played in the original show has already said uh, said he won't come back. And no word on the other two actors they've had in the show. Um, as far as that, the show, I kind of watched a few episodes. I liked it a little bit. It's a superhero show about a guy who runs around as a tick. And he's really a, not that smart of a hero. He, He's kind of stupid. Speaking of Patrick Warburg, he's going to be in the new Let Me Snicket Unfortunate Events TV series on Netflix. Uh, Netflix released some more news on it, and he's going to be playing as Let Me Snicket himself, the narrator of the entire show. In the, t in the movie, it was originally played by Jude Law, and so Netflix has also announced that they will be going to be doing 13 episodes. They lost their original director at the moment and they're trying to find a new one to keep it going but the project's still going. They still have uh, Neil Patrick Harris as the evil Count Olaf um, and, the, and a couple unknown stars still uh, to play the children. So I'm kind of excited about this. I want to see more especially now that I have Neil Patrick Harris and Patrick Warburg. I kind of like Patrick and uh, I love his voice. He's got a good voice. Uh, he's a good voice actor. So I'd like to see what more they will do. Um, Moving on to our next news story, Luke Cage has actually got a release date now. For those fans who love Daredevil and Jessica Jones, uh, we're going to be seeing Luke Cage come out on September 30th. So get ready to add him on your NCQ uh, in September. For those who are really excited, Daredevil is going to come out on March 18th of this Friday. I'm excited. I can't wait to tell you what it is. I might do a couple uh, episode reviews for that for you guys, uh, or a season review uh, next week because I probably will binge watch that like crazy. So prepare for a Daredevil episode <laughs> next week. And that's all I've really got for this week of March 13th of 2016. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more geeky news, hit the subscribe button. And what do you guys think about this whole reboot train that's kind of happening right now with Netflix, Amazon, and uh, other TV broadcast networks? Do you guys think Hollywood is uh, running out of ideas, or do you think this is kind of cool? Uh, give me... Kind of give me some more information on what you guys think about that in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next week, probably with a whole season review of uh, Daredevil. And that's all I really got today, guys. By the way, I stream on my Twitch channel every Thursday from noon to 6. And I'd like you guys to kind of stop by and see it. I'm trying to do this, uh, trying to start a following for that because I'm hoping to do Extra Life in November. And I hope to raise a lot more money than I did last year. And it's for the kids, man. I love helping kids out. And I'm also going to try to do more charity events as well, besides Extra Life. So I really need you guys to support. Anyway, you guys have a good week, and I'll see you next week.